do you know that the July the, the registration for the 2023 uh, West Africa Examination Council GCA for private candidate registration, the second series, have commenced since July and is going to end by August 11, 2023. So if you haven't registered, the window is still open for you to grab this opportunity to get yourself registered. Remember, the registration will end on the 11th of August 2023. On that very day, the PIN generation will end. But the upload and uh, biometric capturing will end by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, which is the 13th of August 2023. So do you really want to register for this examination? Now, this is the best time to begin your registration. Now, to commence your registration, all you need to do is this. Just go to the closest bank. It could be Access Bank, Echo Bank, Fidelity, any of these bank, First Bank, GT Bank, Jaez Bank, Heritage Bank, Polaris Bank, Stambik IBTC Bank, Standard Chartered Bank PLC, Selling Bank PLC, Union Bank, United Bank of, uh, of uh, Nigeria, Unity Bank, Wema Bank, Zenet Bank, or Four City Monument Bank PLC, or any accredited center that is accredited by the West Africa Examination Council to uh, pay the sum of 18,000 Naira plus 500 Naira, which is going to be for bank charges. And after the payment of this sum of money, you will be given your registration PIN and a video CD, which will contain instructions, your syllables and information for these exams. Now, note this, after you get this PIN, registration PIN, you can go ahead with your registration. Now, go straight to uh, the website of the West Africa Examination Council, which is registration.wayekdirect.org. Registration, you've seen it on your screen, on the screen, go straight to that website. Once you have your registration pin and the VCD instruction uh, containing instruction go straight to that website. Now your registration can be done in two ways. Once you get your PIN, these two ways include the first stage is for you to go to any uh, accredited YX center or the YX town where you'll be taking the any of this exam and or any business center that have the capturing future for YAG, go to search places and capture your biometric, which include your passport and your fingerprints. Then once you have done that, then go to the website, which you are seeing on your screen. And once you go to that website, you are going to see, uh, once you type www.registration.yagdirect.org, you're going to see this web page surface. On this web page, once you have done your biometric, you can come to this web page and click continue registration. And once you click continue registration, the portal, the site will take you to a portal where you now use, you need to enter your username and your password. Now this username and the password are the ones those persons who must have done your capture biometrics would have given to you as they initiated since they are the one that initiated your registration and make sure that you must conclude this registration two weeks from the first access to this website during this your registration period the conclusion means after these two weeks, you must make sure that you must have printed your photo card, which will contain your result checker pin that you use as an access 
to into your examination hall. So go straight to this place, log in with your username, which you must have been given, and then your password, password, and then click login. Then once you log in, you'll be given access to fill in uh, your email, your surname, and all the data that will be required, your subjects and the rest that will be required for the examination. Now go ahead and do that. So this is the first way you can register. Is either you go to your uh, biometric center and do your biometric capturing before you come online and then click continue on the website in order to continue your registration. Now, if you want to do it, you want to start online, this is the second way you can also do this. Come to the website registration.yecdirect.org, go straight to start registration, this tab over here. Once you click start registration, it's going to be a fresh registration. Once you click start registration, it's going to take you straight to a point where you now need to insert your, you have to meet, need to insert your data at the first point. And this involves you bringing up or formulating a username, a password, then you include your password. And then you put in that PIN number you got, registration PIN number you got from the bank after paying your 18,000 and the five hundred naira uh, uh, access uh, charge bank charges once you insert that you can now click continue now once you click this and click continue you'll be given a page where you need to insert your email your surname your other name and you also input other data including the, uh, the the subjects you'll be taking for the examination and other required your state of origin and your examination centers will be shown there. You have to input all those things to conclude your registration on this web. And once you've concluded your registration on this web, you can now proceed to any JAM accredited, uh, accredited center or a business center that has the biometric capturing features in order to capture your biometric and your fingerprints your passport and your fingerprint now remember and take note of this if you are taking this second option that is filling the online form first before going to your biometric center if you are taking this option make sure that the surname the email the other name you give including your username and the password you give to the people who do your biometric capturing is the same thing with what you have imputed here online. If they are not the same thing, the system will give you a user already exist feedback and will not allow you to register. So make sure that your username and your password is the same as what you registered when you come in or start up this website registration initially. Once you do that, then you are good to go to continue your uh, registration uh, with your biometric capturing. Now, take note, whichever of these two methods you want to go about doing, make sure that at the end, you do print your photo card. Do not forget to print your photo card because your photo card will contain your examination center, your name, the examination number and all the details, your result checker pin and all the details you need to get into your examination hall. In fact, that is a passport to your examination hall. Without it, you will not be allowed to enter the examination hall. So make sure that whichever of these two methods you want to use to start off your registration, you make sure that you get your photo card that is the main point so these are the two methods through which you can get yourself registered for the 2023 west africa examination 
GCE Second Series registration online. Remember, registration end on the 11th of August 2023. So, what are you waiting for? Do not forget to make sure that you do your registration. For more information on the West Africa examination and many other examinations which you will be taking after this, do not forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to get further information. If you have found this video very informative and education, don't forget to share it with your friends and also subscribe to our channel for more of such academic uh, uh, video. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you watch our subsequent videos. Bye-bye for now.